season just a couple days away, opening weekend. Um, you know, what's kind of the excitement level from you, you know, getting ready to get back on the field? Uh, I'm excited to play. We're still in that prep phase of getting some things done, so I'm not really, I guess, as excited as I will be when, you know, we see the lights and get to the field and open day is really, you know, it's happening. Right now I'm still in practice mode like we have been for the last four months, so I'm not, I guess I'm not game ready just yet and the excitement and so just trying to make sure everything gets done and everything that we need to be, uh, that needs to be done and we're prepared for it, has to take care of. Um, you have five freshmen on the team, seven newcomers. Um, you know, how's it going to be trying to keep them into a, a prepared mental state to play as opposed to being bouncing off the walls? In a sense? We're just going to have to ride that out and see what happens. I mean, hopefully, you know, the older kids are helping out. We're, you know, going through some things in practice to help them kind of, you know, deal with the situation and things for them to when it happens, when they start to recognize that they're getting a little too excited. You know, just some techniques to help get them out of that mode and back to being focused and locked in like it's a, you know, like, like it was high school or the summer ball. Uh, basically, we, we're just going to have to, you know, let them get the experience and hopefully weather the storms when it happens that, you know, our experienced kids can help them get through it and it doesn't really hurt us too much. What do you look to at this, at this time, um, or who's stepping up at this time to kind of take over that leadership role to kind of you know, bring the normalcy to the rest of the team? It, it, it's by committee. There's no one person. They've all kind of picked, you know, what at what time that they want to step in and be the leader. Uh, you know, we don't have uh, that set person that does everything. Uh, it depends on the day, who's at practice, uh, you know, with the kids' schedules, who's in the dorms, who's in the apartments. It, it varies. Uh, I just hope and look for at least somebody to recognize certain situations where leadership is needed in order for things to turn out the way we need them to. Had a lot of good weather. A couple times it's been pushed because of the because of the rain, but you know how, how important has it been to be able to be outside for most of the most of January? It's been good. Obviously, you know, getting reps uh, on the field, whether it's defensively or offensively, are important. You know, you don't want to hit all the time in cages, and I think it's bad for your hitters. They become cage hitters and think they're hitting the balls hard. They're only hitting them, you know, 50 feet. Um, you know, having the ability to go through full defensive stuff, you know, even though with the indoor, you know, we have that ability here. Uh, being able to do it out in the field in the sun with the elements is important. It gets us prepared because I know, you know, South Carolina, who's our first opponent, has been outside almost the entire time as well. So you don't want to have that be the difference maker in a game. This is your second season. Um, obviously, the first first year is trying to implement a lot of things, get everything kind of rolling. Um, what are you looking for? What are you expecting out of this season? I expect us to be better than last year. I expect us to be able to compete, you know, for seven innings, no matter who the opponent is. Uh, I expect us to be better as a team with each other. Uh, I expect excitement. I have a better brand of softball. I think as a team, we're more athletic. Uh, we definitely get along so well that I think that will help in the win-loss column. Uh, you know, my main thing is I just expect the competition to be a day-in and day-out thing, not sporadic. We may be young in spots, but I don't think we are going to be young acting in the competition uh, thought process. And I believe every time we put the uniform on, we're going to come ready to compete no matter who's in the dugout. Um, obviously, this is this is the stretch, the beginning of the stretch of all the non-conference three tournaments in a row before we actually get an opportunity to come back home. Um, what are some of the key things of being road warriors for the first few weeks? Main thing is we have to start off strong and not necessarily coming out and scoring a bunch of runs or striking out everybody, but come out and competing from the time we get on the bus at the hotel to the time we get back on the bus at the end of the game. We just have to keep it consistent, not try to do more than we're capable of or try to exceed our own capabilities. We just need to be consistent and do our jobs. That's it. I want them focused in on doing their individual part for the team as a whole. We get off the bus, whether we play 
you know, the best team in the country or the worst team in the country, not play based off of who's in the other dugout, but to focus in on the little things that we do every day to keep them consistent in games and not worry about the bigger thing. We're not trying to focus on winning and losing. We want to focus in on playing that at bat, that ground ball, that pitch as best as we can, and then when that's done, refocus and do it again, and to keep doing it for seven innings and then let the chips fall with him in. You know, we touched on this a little bit earlier, but just basically, um, what's the difference between you know in the Tiger softball program at this point now than last year? We're better teammates. Easily, the best, biggest difference between last year and this year, we're better in the locker room. We're better to each other. We're better with the coaching staff. We have a fresher outlook on on the season. There's an excitement about playing and competing and there's an excitement about playing well for each other you know I wouldn't say we had that last year at any point so I can say if there's anything that has us excited about you know the possibility of being really successful this year is the fact that in that locker room we have everybody on the same page pulling for each other and they genuinely like being around each other okay. all right